Guys, I'm back. Hello. This is a continuation from a stream that I did on my main channel. How many people are gonna come? How many people are gonna be chat and carry over? We had like 800 people watching. How many people are, we, are gonna carry over and be chat, dude? Hi. Hi, hi, hi. We have all these people tweeting out hashtag apologize to Sky. Oh my god. Let's go. Sky's fucking epic, man. Love that guy. So we're gonna have more of a chill time here. I'm just stream. Uh, there's no direction. Just streaming. Just chilling. Just memeing. Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna have some fun. We have 32 viewers. Back to the regular amount of viewers. Uh, rather than whatever. Dude, no one likes to watch my streams, man. I don't know. I could have been more active. I could have been more hyped. I had coffee, but I don't know. I'm just not good at, like, talking about drama. Despite being a drama YouTuber. I don't know. One sec. I'm gonna go pee. I should have peed before the stream. I should have peed before the stream. I'm gonna pee. Look at yourselves and get an ego. I'm back. Did Bo Blacks just puke? I don't know what came into the mic. Is he throwing up? No. I just was pissing. I don't even know what came into the mic. But whatever. Hot tub streamer when? When I can. If I get a new place and the hot tubs are fucking popping. Dude, what happened here? My stream's are going crazy! 45 views! Let's go! Yeah, I don't know. Dude, who's excited to watch, um... What the fuck is playing? Oh. Sky. Who's ready to watch the technicals video again on After Hours? And I'll just be sitting there like, Bruh. I already watched this. Bruh. Bruh. Look at my beautiful desktop. I'm, do I'm probably doxing something by showing this. I don't know what's on screen right now. I can't comprehend all this. This is from my Invader V thumbnail. It's still on my desktop. Dude, my Invader V thumbnail. Alright guys, we gaming. We're gaming. You like that, Bo Blacks? Hell yeah. Connor needs to apologize to Sky. True. For the fucking Minecraft tur for the Among Us tournament. I'm gonna tweet that out. Alright. 
<laughs> What's the title about? Sky's epic. I just want to suck Sky Williams' metaphorical cock. Not actually. I don't. I'm not a big fan of Ding Dong. Oh, we both want to play the frog. Fuck. I know everybody in my last chat was like, EU League of Legends, so now I'm playing League. Epic. Epic, epic, epic. I would play ranked, but I feel like if I have chat and I'm playing ranked, I can't pay attention to both. And I won't pay attention to chat not winning the game. I'm trolling. Well, he didn't lock it in. He can suck. New Tom Kench came out. Pretty epic. Pretty cool champ. I like him a lot. Hello, hello, hello. Main chat went from Among Us to League. Yeah, they never talked about the topic at hand. Why are your mods... Why are there more mods here than on your main? Because uh, Brit Bong was fucking around with my thing. Ripbong was coming in. I needed mods. Alright, what color? Let's go normal. How are you guys doing today? It is Friday. Friday. I am picking up my car. I'm buy I bought a car. And I'm picking it up on Monday. And I literally can't think about anything else. I'm like... Get this weekend over with, dude. I don't give a fuck. Get me straight into Monday, dude. I'm tired of this shit. I'm getting a Tesla Model 3. It's gonna be fucking hype. And it's only possible because I read all those tweets. Shell, I'm playing Pokemon Hacks, working on new music. Hell yeah. Dude, I love people who work on music. Speaking of music, I was, um... I was listening to the Sonic Symphony last night because I didn't watch it when it came out. Oh my god, dude. It was so good. We should listen to it. We should listen to it on stream. Yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday. Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Dude, that... I don't have, like, a setup to, like, show a YouTube video in a mini player or whatever, but... Why is it all, like, all laggy? What? What is this fucking frame rate right now? Is it like acting like it's tabbed out? There's like a yellow bar around my thing. It's like acting if, as if it's tabbed out. I don't know what's going on. I hate tech issues, man. They suck! It's Saturday here? Yo. Fun fact, you put me on Twitter versus one time. Hell yeah. I misgendered someone in my latest Twitter verses and he tweeted about it. I'm like, fuck. Rip. Because Turkey Tom called him a femoid, so I called her she, and then it was a guy. But he called him a femoid, so... Yeah, what is this fucking laggy fucking shit going on right now? Yes, I am excited for Pokemon Unite. I'm gonna play it. Uh, it comes out next month. Hopefully it's fun. Alright, so Tom Kench, they added this new ability to him. He pops out. Pretty cool, pretty epic. Demetri is a femboy. A femoy, true. Yeah, dude, the Pokemon MMO is gonna be hype. I've seen Nintendo you, you Nintendo YouTubers aren't talking about it, though. I've heard Arlo talk about it in his, like, Nintendo News Roundup, but he's like, I don't like the game because it's made by Tencent, and Tencent does evil stuff. You know, I like Arlo, but sometimes he's, like, really ignorant. Like, okay, Tencent does bad stuff, but same with every multi-million dollar company. Like, Nintendo was just as scummy as someone like Tencent or EA. Or, like, on similar levels. But he's just, like, he he treats company like companies like people. It's weird. Like, it's an entity, not, like, a person. There can be bad and good, you know. Some people are more out for money. I mean, it's a business. Of 
forced her out for money. I don't know. Let me like tab out of this and then tab back in and see if it's less laggy. Oh, there we go. Okay. Thank God. Oh, I didn't. I didn't buy a jungle item. Am I stupid? Holy shit. See, this is why I'm not playing ranked. Will he ever wear a maid outfit? <sighs> no. They can't separate the creator from the creation. Yeah. Fed Maestro's live? What is he talking about? We could check that out. The chat in your last stream was AIDS? Yeah, I guess. Dude, you were AIDS. You were just fucking bullying me the whole time, dude. I'm trying to focus on the fucking video, and then we have Sandwich Man over here in chat just bullying the shit out of me. Kind of rude. Kind of mean. But yeah. If the boys want to come on and play Fortnite or whatever, I'm down to do that. I don't know. I don't really have much to do today. And I'm just, and there's no drama going on. Maybe if I really think about it, I could squeeze out a video, but I, I don't know. Nexus Splits is such a goofy ass game mode. Come on, bitch. Let me lick your ass. Hmm. I have a coughing issue. I've always just been a cougher, dude. I fucking love this character. He's just so goofy, dude. He just licks shit. He's just a licker. Tom Kench has definitely done some SA, man. He's definitely played some Sonic Adventure. Stop dying. Yo, Mike the Kike, what is up, dude? I'm about to fuck this bitch up. Fuck. Yeah, League's a fun game to just, like, fuck around in. What is the Fedmeister drama about? Oh, remember like the drama he had with Pokimane where Pokimane like said he'd like she she was like two fingers more like fist and then he was like down and she's like nah I'm gonna fuck someone else. Now nah, it goes. He's trying to be accepted back into their community, but like Pokimane just called him like a piece of shit, so I don't know. Feels like a kind of wasted effort. I feel like he's just kind of donezo. We can check out a stream after and see what's up. I'm sure his fans are like welcoming him back. But I don't know if like Pokey and the crew like and the top streamers would really welcome him back with open arms. I mean everyone betrayed him like uh, big streamers like Yasuo who used to be one of his best friends. You know the entire offline TV crew which is Scarlet, Sky's Toast. Uh, Lily Pichu, Michael Reeves, uh, Pokimane, of course. Yvonne. Yvonne, Yvonne, however you say her name. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting how people react to him. I mean, if they go back all willy nilly to like being his best friend, I mean. I don't know if she, like, I don't even know if it's, in, if it's in his best interest to get back friends like that who would, like, betray him in that type of way. I don't even know if it's in his best interest to do so, but he seems to be wanting to do that, so. Again, his document leaked, quote-unquote. He never meant to release it, so he's, like, on the side of the people who are against him. So, it's, like, hard, like, I don't even want to defend him if he's not going to defend himself, right? Like... 
It's a little weird. What? Yo! I fucked this kid up. I'm fucked. Venture collab with Leafy and Gundam. Oh my god. Like, Fed is like the definition of down bad as a person. Makes he thinks he. Yeah, the Fed video was weird. There's a new video coming back. That was a strange one. I feel like I need to turn the volume of the game up a bit. I'll do it later. Oh, I flashed out. Fucking pussy. Can't fight the big toad. Can't fight the big boy. Dude, I'm literally playing as Nick Diorio right now. Ah, fuck. Get out! He didn't get out. He sucks. That is a beta male? True, but he looks like an alpha. He's fucking ripped to shit now, man. We'll check it out in a sec. I'm gonna raise the volume on this for you guys. Seemed like a parody of a bad movie, yeah. That's a weirdo, man. Let's go. Knock this bitch up. Come back here. I'm about to eat that ass. Fuck. We suck. I'm trying to eat ass and these guys aren't following up, man. Or they are following up, but they're just dying. The only investment I have in drama is the fact that gas powered fishing pole man. Hell yeah. I'm gonna turn up my fan and tell me if you guys can hear it. Tell me if you guys can hear it, okay? Okay, my fan is turned up from three to seven. Tell me if you guys can hear it. You can hear it? Well, fuck you. I'm hot. Too poor for AC. I don't have it in my apartment yet. I had my apartment when I was poor. I'm gonna move next year. I want to mortgage a place, but I need, like, a good, like, history of income for the last two years. And in 2019, I made way less than in 2021. So I could get, like, a decent mortgaged house, but I want to get, like, someplace nicer. Because I want to invest a lot of money into a really nice place. Since I work at home all the time, I feel like... I should really invest in, like, a place that will last and is, like, really high quality. So, I'm gonna do that next year when my income, uh, for the last two years is more consistent. Because in 2019, I made way less than in 2020. And what I'm gonna make in 2021. I've already made more this year so far than I did in 2019, so. Moving to the Sky House, yeah. But yeah, but right now I'm just getting my new car. It's just coming in two days and I can't wait. And I just want it to be Monday. I don't give a fuck. It would be easier to wait if I had like topics and videos to do, but I really don't. Maybe I'll make Twitter versus Apologize to Sky once, uh, you know, there's enough tweets about it. If you guys want to be in Twitter versus, share your opinion on, uh, or potentially, because I don't know if I'm going to make the video yet. Share your opinion on Sky Williams. Hashtag apologize to Sky on Twitter. And you might make it in if you get enough likes and ha or have an interesting enough opinion.
I licked that guy to death. Your team wins. Let's go. You love smash. I love smashing. Skyhouse 6.0 with Bovlax. Og in neck. Oh my god. Dude, that man should never. <laughs> Jesus. Even having one roommate might be traumatizing for that guy. I feel so bad for Sky, man. But at least, like, I mean, the record is, like, cleared a little bit with that video. I don't know how many views he's gonna get, but. Sad that it took a year for something like that to be addressed, but no one wanted to listen to Sky when he uploaded his video. VidCon bed for the Sky House. Did the VidCon trip? Dude, VidCon 2021 is gonna be fucking epic, man. It's gonna be a legendary event. Fuck. This is so chaotic. <clears throat> Dude, no one wants to talk to me. I stream on my big main channel, 200k. No one comes in the call. Augie streams for two seconds on his crusty ass 40k sub channel. Everyone wants on, man. Dude, yeah, Technicals is a really good content creator. Dude, someone AFK'd? Bruh. Bruh. Dude, the hashtag's going crazy right now. Everyone's tweeting it. Hashtag apologize to Sky. Let's go. Yeah, if there's enough tweets about it, I'll make a, uh, I'll make a Twitter versus on it. I kind of feel like I'm out of it, but I have nothing to do. And I'm hyped off on caffeine. I don't know what's going on, guys. I don't know what's going on. This is why I rely on other people to commentate, uh, when I stream. Because I can't talk for shit. Dude, I used to be a Let's Player. I used to talk 24-7. About anything. And now I can't do jack shit, dude. Stream house party again. <sighs> I put timestamps on Augie's last stream. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to have to watch that Sky Williams video again. That 50 minute video again. Just call your friends. I feel like they have to want to come in. I might be busy. Have you ever done like Jackbox with Augie? Ah, oh, I did once. These guys don't really know about Jackbox. We said we were gonna play Among Us this weekend. We gotta play Among Us. I wanna play Among Us. Among Us or, uh, or Sea of Thieves. Dude, last night I got so fucking high. Holy shit. I woke up high, man. I was like, po I was like saying some stupid shit on Twitter. When you supposed to pay play Sea of Thieves, yeah. But these guys always just fucking. They say they're gonna do something, and then they're just like, nah. These guys are flaky as fuck. <sighs> Lane, who we playing? Who we playing? Which guy are we playing? Where are we dropping, boys? Your worst decisions will haunt you. <laughs> sea of Thieves chat, see if Keem and Muda wants to play. They just see me in the Sea of Thieves chat, they're like, Bruh? Oh, sorry, I knocked my mic with my headphones. Dude, if I go in the Sea of Thieves chat, they'll be like, Is Keemstar about to come on? Because that's the only time I preemptively go in there is like, when I'm about to talk to Keem. They'll be like, Oh! Is Keemstar gonna go on? And then they'll come in and I'll be like, no. And then they're like, bye. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Sea 
swing a bit. Are you the hunter or the Look at all these hat skins, man. These guys were talking about hentai earlier. Well, he's prime candidate. Hmm. Pretend like it's gonna happen and never deliver. Yeah, Keem's coming in to play Sea of Thieves at any moment, guys. Bruh. I don't know what to say. Dude, I... Just wish I could be in a time capsule, a cryo sleep, until Monday. Because there's nothing else to do. Well, there probably is stuff to do. I probably, you know. I could do shit. Call the trashy trio. Uh, I don't think they'd pick up. Guys, I'm shy. I don't like calling my friends. Let's see. Are the Trashy Trio online? They'll start saying the N-word, though. Literally, as soon as I call Sam, he'll just say the N-word. Yeah, they're not online. Yeah, they would legit just say the N-word. I'm hopping in Sea Thieves chat on Discord. Wax is a sussy baka, true. Dude, I want to play Among Us. I want to play Among Us. I want to play sus. Wait, you got. Okay, what is Apologize to Sky trending at? Creep show to play. Let's go! Creep show art. We playing? Alright. Fall just the sky is popping off, guys. When you ask your favorite Pokemon is Amoogus. Is that a Pokemon? Is there a Pokemon that like sounds like Amoogus? I feel like I would have heard about that by now. Is there an Among Us Pokemon? Howdy chat, howdy ping pong. I was fed. The redemption arcs are going strong guys. Apologize to Gabby Hanna, apologize to Sky William. Apologize to these nuts. I'm like caffeinated up and tired at the same time. It's probably because I smoked too much weed last night, bro. Dude, my ADHD, like I'm the type of person to do it right away. Like if I plan a video, I want it done like ASAP. Like my video production's like two days max or something like that. So the fact that like I gotta wait to pick up my car till Monday. I'm like, bro, I want to do it now. Especially since I already paid for it, dude. I got this, like, fucking 50k dent in my bank account. I'm like, bro, just let me drive. Pokemon, that Pokemon is overhated. Yo, fake tipster, what is up, dude? What is up? Yeah, I love just going in Tipster's chat and being like, Tip! What up? I don't know why. Tipster's the homie, man. I thought you were artistic? Wow, man. I am. 
I'm also ADHD. I'm fucking up. I fucking suck. Okay, is there any other game you guys want me to play? Is there any, like, game you'd love to see me chill and play? Yo, double. I feel like I'm being boring. Uh-oh. I don't know how to entertain. Uh-oh, guys. Uh-oh. Dude, is this how streamers normally feel? They're like, chat, chat, please. Give me, give me material. Yeah, I, I saw like a growth score tweet the other day and he was like, dude, content creation is so h much harder because you got to rely on yourself to be entertaining instead of the chat. I'm like, bro, streamers aren't entertaining. They just rely on the chat. So you know what? It's time for me to rely on you. If this stream's boring, it's your fault. You got to make it entertaining. I feel like that's such a weird concept. Like make your own entertainment. Like what's the point of watching then? You could just like entertain yourself by like talking to yourself. I came for the Hmm, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh. Insert overused funny joke here. My fun is bully. Bullying is so mean, though. He's such a cyber bully, dude. Dude, when's Turkey Tom's video coming out? I did a collab with Turkey Tom. I want to see that shit out, man. I want to see people's reactions to my epic takes on Ethan Klein and Trisha Paytas. I need entertainment. I'm already done watching the technicals video. Where's my Turkey Tom video? Make videos faster, guys. I need constant entertainment. Only from your videos. I'm getting raped. Oh, right joke. Is it you reading tweets or actual commentary? It's actual commentary. I don't read any tweets in it. The enemy team nope, nope. Wins. Ally slain. I was thinking of maybe, like, expanding my part into my own commentary video after it comes out. Gabby uploaded and the viewer voice is crying. What did she upload? I know she uploaded the rice scum one a couple days ago. I wasn't like a huge fan of that video. It was like kind of interesting, but at the same time, like, it wasn't as concise as the other one. It was more her talking about her feelings, which is fine, but I prefer the more just receipts type approach, you know? Ah, fuck. Wait, Gabby made a vid? Gabby Hannah. Yo, she's about to rip into T channels, bro. Oh, I should have reacted to this on my main channel. Bro. Okay, after this game, guys, after this game, we're gonna we're gonna watch the Gabby Hanna video. And she's just about to rip the T channels a new asshole, man. Fuck this game, bro. I'm done with it. Where's the surrender button? I want this game to be over now. I don't give a fuck. Nobody told me that Gabby Hanna was about to fucking pop off, bro. UFO report, bro. This is an alt fake, man. How about... Fuck! The surrender! You guys all suck. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit. 
No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go back to my main channel. I'm not gonna go back and stream it on my main channel. I'll watch it here. You guys gotta watch here. I said I'd play with him later tonight, and now he's fucking messaging me like, bruh. Get me out of this game. Not fair. End it, end it, end it. We're losing. End it. Bye bye. I'm out. Gabby Hanna time. Trigger warning. Yo! My bed is still not made from last night. I did sleep, actually that was two nights ago! I was seeing an ADHD specialist. I just got off the phone with him and I feel so excited and see- I don't know how to put it on. I can't figure Okay, she talks about herself a lot. I want to get to shitting on the T channel. This process and this like experiment that I've been doing with myself has Okay. Taking this thing online and I'm reading like how often Okay. Getting a lot better. <clears throat> I mean this, I did it today. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's just like so much confusion. I don't feel like a bad person anymore. I just don't think that I'm for everybody because I respond to things differently and I interpret differently and I communicate differently and it helps me understand my mood a lot because of mood swings that come with that and the True. I have ADHD too, so relatable. The complications with kind of regulating your impulsivity or your emotions. Now I know that I'm not this awful person that has emotions. Now I know Autism. I have autism and ADHD though. That I'm not this awful person that everybody said I am. I'm just different than you. I responded to a lot of stuff the way that it made sense for me to respond to. And because it wasn't the way that you felt comfortable with, everybody said that I was like a bad person, or like a monster or a manipulative person. That's ableist. Ableism. And or soulless or sociopath i think that's where we need to open up a conversation again of understanding that you may not like the way that somebody behaves or the way somebody handled a situation but you don't get to dictate other people you don't understand what's going on with them or how they processing everybody yeah, has a different point of view so just because it doesn't align with yours doesn't make it wrong i just feel it like at some point or evil what was that sound effect with yours doesn't make it wrong Rawr. Rawr. Fucking, you know what that reminds me of? Wait, you know what this reminds me? That reminds me of. Reminds me of this. Why sigma males are more attractive than alpha males? Stay tuned. Sigma man. Welcome to the Anthony Spay channel. Sigma nation. With the tiger, dude. With the epic tiger. That's what it reminds me of. I just feel it like at some point, our tolerance for people being different and having different personalities and traits went out the window. <laughs> and it was just like, you're not like us. That is groupthink. That is so dangerous. People saying, we mm. all need to think the same. And if you do not think the same as us, we're going to attack you. And yeah. Apologize to Sky Will- Hashtag apologize to Sky Williams or I'm attacking you. 
That's my group think. Anybody who agrees with that person and dares to speak it, we're going to attack you too. People are silenced and people are threatened and bullied into silence. Really? And then nobody's I standing up for bullying. what's right because what in standing up for what's right, volatile people will rile volatile people. It's just fucked up, dude. I'm just calming myself down. My heart is like pounding right now. <sighs> Not because I'm anxious, because I'm angry. I am still angry and I feel like I've processed so many of my sad emotions over the last few months on that vlog. Okay, this is gonna be about Blanca Devins. We talked about it a little bit on the big stream with Nick. This is the girl who uh, ended up getting murdered and she was in a article about something unrelated and Gabby like was like it was about like uh people who look like e-girls or whatever like fashion and she's like doing a video about like I'm gonna look like an e-girl and she looks up different e-girls and she's one of them and she didn't know that the murder happened and people said it was disrespectful to show her face and then she's like oh I apologize or whatever so that's kind of like the drama vlog channel but I've not What's processed up, a lot of the anger and I think a lot of that is coming up because it's one of those things where like if I put this out and the response from the people who hurt me and who were fronting a smear campaign against me were to say, well, we didn't know, we didn't know. So that's why we were so cruel. You shouldn't have to know somebody's mental state or mental health or neurological makeup to be a kind, empathetic person who Bats. tries to see the best in people instead of the worst. Oh, this video's really loud, my bad. First. The group think is so dangerous because you don't, you don't get to tell people how to feel or how to react in a situation that you have never experienced. How is somebody supposed to act when they're being falsely accused of exploiting a murdered child? What is the appropriate response to that? Whoa. Now, I didn't respond at first. Okay, wacky modder. Did Sky Williams finally make an effort to get his shit together on massive financial debt he was in and repenting for all the bad things that happened under... Yeah, he has. He's making an effort. Uh, I mean, he hasn't made up... He hasn't paid back all the money yet, but yeah, he's making an effort. Because it's not true. It was a false accusation grounded in literally fucking nothing. I apologized oh. for a situation that I should not have apologized for, and I'm going to stand my ground on this. Because while I am sorry that the family had to deal with this, this was not my fault. If the drama channels and the tabloids, these are tabloids that you guys are taking as fact just because they're on video format and because a person that you like is delivering it to you, this was a slanderous lie that caused the family so much trauma. And the family has gotten on camera and said that they were hurt by what these people did to them. We didn't see anything wrong with what she did. She Googled e-girl and pulled up a picture of Yandex. Simple mistake. It was a simple mistake. There was nothing disrespectful about it. We didn't feel disrespected. We don't feel Bianca would have been disrespected. We think Bianca would have been honored and so excited that yes. Gabby Hanna pulled up her picture and was talking about her. Give her a compliment. You know, they had the same shirt. No one should be offended. No one should be. All these drama channels that are using Bianca for clout, it's absolutely ridiculous that's because that's all you're doing. That's what are offended about and you guys also should be. Yeah. Not you know. about Gabby Hanna complimenting her shirt. Yeah. Gabby wasn't using Bianca for clout like all these drama channels now want to turn it into something that it's not. She didn't do anything wrong and even though she didn't do anything wrong because so many people were offended she did reach out to me and Olivia and apologize and we told her there's no reason for an apology because we don't see that you did anything wrong so we think what you guys should be offended by is now other people want to bring about drama and use Bianca's death for clout and these disgusting people that are exploiting my daughter's death for clout and likes oh, and disgusting. and profit and there has not been so true and here's the thing like uh, she obviously, as the family said in that video, she made, like, a passing comment about, uh, this girl who was murdered, but, like, not about the murder because she didn't know, just about, like, how she looked or whatever. She's like, oh, she looks awesome or whatever. And people thought she was, like, I guess exploiting the dead for clout or whatever. But here's the thing. It was such a minor part of the video. If you look at the video, it's just, like, she's scrolling through pictures. She's like, oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. That looks like, like, then the next person, the next person, the next person. I don't even know if the segment lasted 30 seconds or a minute. Uh, and it's in a longer video, so, like, 
if the drama channels didn't point it out, I feel like it was such a nitpick. Like, the first few days the video came out, obviously I can't go back in time and figure this out, but I would assume that nobody called this out until, like, one drama channel, like, paid attention to it, and they're like, oh, and then they, like, blow it up themselves. It feels like such, like, a minor thing, you know? But then it, it just got blown up out of proportion. And I don't think any, like, average viewer would have noticed it if it weren't for these, like, drama channels. Been an apology from them. That, to me, is infuriating. All I did was scroll through an article on a YouTube video that happened to have a picture of a girl who was murdered. If I were age, this would be me. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's see how long the segment is. I just described it, now she's showing it. Let's see how it is. 100% For sure. Watch this without any context and, you know, try to see if you were an average Gabby viewer, would this, like, stand out to you, right? This outfit right here is you already straight wear. up what I wore from seventh grade to college. And now. And now. <laughs> I do have that shirt. That is what I did. That was my crime that I lost a fucking record deal over, that I lost sponsors over, that I lost hundreds of thousands of subscribers over, that I lost friends over, that I lost job opportunities over, that I lost months of my life over in a deep spiraling depression because this was such a heavy situation that you guys use, and I'm addressing the drama channels directly, you used the murder of a child to exploit me and that yikes 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 that is disgusting holy shit you used me as a shield accusing me of exploiting beyond uh, i'm i'm sounding like sarcastic no this is like uh, i'm sounding a little sarcastic but like this is fucked up bro what holy shit Bianca Devon's name, face, and story for money and clicks when all I ever did was for a fraction of a fucking moment show her picture and say I liked her t-shirt. You, on the other hand, plastered her name and her face across your thumbnails and your titles and reduced her to a murder victim who Gabby Hanna exploited? Yeah, exactly. When you look up Bianca Devins, le okay, let's look up Bianca Devins, dude. Let's see what her legacy is online because of these drama channels. Let's go to Google. Let's see what is up. Bianca Devins, girl who got tragically murdered. What is the first thing that comes up? Okay, well, it's not about Gabby Hanna, but I feel like... Okay, let's do it on YouTube instead. Lol, my point isn't being made. Okay, maybe her legacy isn't being like Gabby Hanna victim. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, that's the only time I heard about her, but maybe that's not the legacy. Whatever. By showing Lol. her pic- Well, I'm glad that like a bunch of Gabby Hanna stuff doesn't show up when you look up her name. I mean, that's good. So. Picture, having no knowledge of the situation that happened, and you gaslighting me into saying that I did know because I couldn't have possibly missed it because it was written right next to it, right? Yeah, I'm sure it would have popped up when it happened. Maybe, like, if we go to, like, news or something. Like, it doesn't pop up now, which I'm so happy for. But, like, I don't know, maybe during the time it, I mean it, I don't know I'm glad her name isn't like directly associated with Gabby when you look her up though cause like I don't know that just sucked I didn't read the fucking article I was looking at pictures and you knew that isn't the art shouldn't the hate go more on the person who wrote the article though by like making an article about e-girls and then like just talking about a murdered one i don't know at angelica Oles, and everybody else who started that rumor and went with that story and exploited a murdered teenager to the point that her dead body 
the photos of her oh. dead body that were taken by her murderer and posted on the internet were being sent to her fucking mother and sister. Yikes. You did that. Whoa. Not me. She has said that she was harmed by you. That I'm actually curious what comes up in the video. She's going off, dude. Yeah, what comes up? I don't know, man. That's so tragic. Fucking hell. I feel so bad for the family. You exploited her daughter. And you have not apologized. And I have? For her sake? Because she was getting I'm so I'm not searching for the pics. I'm just seeing what immediately comes up to get, like, a, a view of what people see when they try to search up her name. Shit. Just from you guys talking about it and exploiting her in that way. I did the right thing. I went in silently and tried to hide it and blur it to calm people down over it quietly. Because this should have never been news. Did you donate Damn. any of the money you made? I've never seen someone go off so fucking hard before. Damn. On those videos to the foundation that I have put out publicly, that I've called you to donate to, that's fine. Nobody can take your money from you. You earn that money, you do whatever you want. But you need to apologize to Bianca's mother. And I know that I will never get an apology from you for what you did to me, for gaslighting me, for making me the scapegoat to your disgusting exploitation. I know I will never get that and that is okay. Share the petition to enact laws so that this can never happen again with your audience. Hold yourself accountable to the same standards that you hold everybody else. What they did was evil. And they profited off of it, and then they're posting about their Teslas. Angelica Oles, you started this thing. You absolutely, above all, need to take accountability for that. Apologize to the family. They're deeply hurt and were deeply affected and were faced with the images of their daughter's dead body because of you. Oh, we gotta check out Twi Angelica Oles' Twitter after this, because she's popping off man and the campaign that you spearheaded apologize send this petition to your followers dustin daly the viewers voice repzilla anna oop spill sesh all the rest of you who are too cowardly to put your face behind your name you need to issue an apology you need to issue a retraction you need to share this petition with your audience and let them know that what you did is not okay but that they can help ensure that it will never happen again or you can also admit that you actually don't hold yourself to the same standards that you hold everybody else to and that you don't actually care about bianca and you don't oh care about God. bianca's family because you started Damn. a campaign that hurt her tremendously and then you never apologized you never donated the money. You they better not be running away. Because even if they don't want to bow down to Gabby Hanna, I get that because they don't like Gabby Hanna. But even if Gabby Hanna did the worst things possible, like, uh, I mean, it's kind of objective that they helped, like, spread. I mean, the family straight up said it from their mouth. So, you know, they should do it for the family, not for Gabby, but for the family. For help share the petition that could actually help her family and future families who have to go through something this horrible. Okay. I'm calm now. Um, for a second I thought about like... Let's let's see what the viewer's voice said. Well, Gabby, people talk about you because of your own actions. Let's remember the past few months. Enjoy playing the victim. Uh, lol? Bruh? What's Gabby's response? You're just sad. So the family called you out, you ignored them. I try to hold you accountable, you deflect blame and avoid the harm you've caused. Whoa. Dude, this might be a Twitter versus three minutes ago and everybody else who started that rumor and went with that story and exploited a murdered teenager to the point that her dead body the photos of her dead body that were taken by her murderer and posted on yikes dude what's the response but you're using her now for vindication of how you were treated over this bruh 
Let's see. All I'm going to say is that an alleged family friend of Bianca Devins messaged me all the time. All the news was coming out and told me that the family didn't want videos, so I didn't film one. The only time I mentioned uh, her was, okay, well, if Randy DeGlare didn't mention uh, Bianca, then that's fine. Uh, I never used... Damn, it sounds like she's saying bitch here. <laughs> but I know she means Bianca. Her name for clout, not in my title, not in my thumbnail, not in my tags. I reported on the story that many people sent in. No one from Bianca's family reached out to ask for an apology, so my assumption was that they didn't want one, didn't want to continue dragging this on. I'm not sure why I'm the main topic of this video when there are drama channels that actually put Bianca's face in their thumbnails. Oh wait, it's because Gabby Hanna has an agenda. Uh, okay. Gabby Hanna ne uh, named me as someone who made a video on her and Bianca that needs to apologize and never made one. Ooh, is that true? Did she never make one? I mean, if they never made one, it's kind of fucked up to, like, hold people accountable for videos that, you know, they never made. Did she call out T-Spell, though? I don't know if she did. Let's see. She made, like, a list, right? Publicly... She made, like, a list of names. We have Angelica Oles... Yeah, T-Spill isn't here. Not verbally mentioned. Ashley Kyle. Is Ashley Kyle, like, the name of, uh, of T-Spill? Because I don't think T-Spill's name is on here. We have Angelica Oles, Dustin Daly, Viewers Voice, Rebzilla. Okay, let's do some real-life research, right? Let, let's try to look up all of these person's videos. Okay. So, Angelica Oles, Gabby Hanna. No, let's type in Bianca's name to see if it, like, comes up. Bianca. See which video it is. Okay, it's this one, right? Hey, guys. Oh, yeah, because it shows... Okay, let's see if, like, she says the name Bianca in here. Because that's what she's claiming. Find Bianca. I saw a tweet saying, Gabby Hanna makes video about being an ego. Comments on a picture of Bianca Devins. With a tweet saying, Gabby Hanna makes... Wait! Uh, 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 bruh? Wait. We need, we need the caption to. Comments on a picture of Bianca De Devin. Whoa! Wait! Bruh! What did Angelica say? Whoa, 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 whoa. Thinking emoji. Picture. Bruh! Bruh! Yikes. Okay, next channel, Dustin Daly. Oh, we Oh, yeah, we got to download this vid, bro.
when did she okay is this about bianca devins look it, what she sent me look at all of this Be up about Bianca. Bianca. No, he doesn't say. Hmm. Okay. We're just doing some light research. I'm not gonna go like super in depth. Viewers voice. Viewers. Because if Gabby's wrong, I mean... <laughs> we should call that out, right? I just want to fact check what Gabby's saying here, you know? Bianca... Okay, so there's no Bianca in this video. Or he doesn't say her name. I don't know if he's talking about the situation in this one. I can't tell because it's just a screenshot, the whole video. Hey, bitches. It's Nick Snyder, and welcome back to 18, pretty much. So they are very impressionable, and they go off of everything that... And I've already seen that her standards are very low because of who she's choosing to date, and his... I don't know if he's even talking about it in this vid. Say, Vic, Tom. I don't know. I don't even know if this is the right vid. I mean, the fact that when I type in the thing, I can't, like, find the exact vid is a good sign. I know Rebzilla, I've already seen Rebzilla's video on it, so... I hope Rebzilla apologizes and, uh, and addresses that. I already know there's a Rebzilla one. Uh, Anoop. Anoop. Okay, this is the first video that comes up. Let's see... Yeah, we have a lot of Bianca mentions here. All right. Anoop probably needs to apologize. Uh, spill sesh. Let's see. Cause um, people are saying Gabby Hanna is like calling out people who never made a video on it. I can't. To be fair, I know Angelica Ols made one. I know Rebzella and Anoop made one. I don't know about Dustin Daly and Viewer's Voice, cause I couldn't. They have a lot of Gabby Hanna videos, and I can't tell which one's about Bianca, and I didn't see anything Bianca-related in the ones I clicked on. So they're off the hook, I guess. Uh, we're on Spill Sesh now, right? Uh, it should have been a year ago. Really fucked up. I don't think... Uh, try to. This looks like it's about Jesse Smiles. I really can't tell, like, what videos about what but she makes a lot of gabby hannah videos so i assume she just made one on bianca i'm not gonna look too deep into this ready to glare yeah she didn't call out uh spill tea spill unless ready well ready to glare said ready to glare on twitter literally said she never made a video on it so if we find a video from ready to glare on bianca then she's fucked. What? Wait. Wait. Is it in the transcript? Guys. Ready to glare literally... What? Ready to glare. Holy shit. This you? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, why are my DMs open? This, oh my god! I'm why is my DMs opening? I'm just trying to type. This you? Oh 
Holy F. Holy F. These cheat channels are so easy to expose, bro. All right, last one. I'm not looking up Trisha. We already know Trisha Paytas fucking does shit. Like, let's be honest. She has a. There's a lot more to Trisha Paytas. Okay, Ashley. Kyle. Gabby, you are actually disgusting. Hi guys. Hey guys. Do, 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 do. Okay, I don't know if she said her name, but she talked about the situation. What's she saying on Twitter? Hey guys. She she's not on Twitter yet. She isn't on Twitter yet. Let's leave her off the hook until you know she gets on Twitter. Yo, she liked one of my video. Wait, she liked one of my tweets. Never mind. Ashley Kyle's epic. Ashley Kyle's awesome. Okay. Your name, you need to issue an apology. You need to issue a retraction. You need to share this petition with your audience and let them know that what you did is not okay, but that they can help ensure that it will never happen again. Or you can also admit that you actually don't hold yourself to the same standards that you hold everybody else to and that you don't actually care about Bianca. And you don't care about Bianca's family because you started a campaign that hurt her tremendously and then you never apologized, you never donated the money, you never helped share the petition that could actually help her family and future families who have to go through something this horrible. Personally, uh, fuck. I like because I don't know if it's like bad that Still showing your name in the video. Personally, I don't know if it's that bad that you used the tweet. It's not like it was the title of your video or anything. What? The tweet's gone. All right. What's her new tweet?
Well, the argument is that you never used her name for clout, but you used her name. What? You said she never used her, you never used her name. I'm literally just clarifying, guys. Bleh. Just adding clarification. Viewer's voice talks about Bianca. All right. 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 It's not twisting. Why is she trying to turn it into something evil? This ain't evil, bro. I think Ready to Glare is the more, um... My tweet did not apply it in.
some people interpret things a little differently. Um, for a second I thought about like, should I try to do that again, but like more chill? And I'm just, I'm just done doing that. I'd rather, I'd rather live like this. Like everybody says they want authentic and genuine. This is authentic and genuine. I'm fucking mad and I'm hurt. I, I hate fucking seeing injustice, dude. Like, like, oh, I hey. come on, get up oh, here. Yeah. He knows when I'm anxious and he like follows me around like when he starts meowing at me like that. I'm okay, bud. Like what a horrible fucking thing that they've been through. And it was just like so fucking trivialized as a way to hurt me. That's exactly what it is. You use Bianca Devins as a way to hurt me. And it makes me so angry for her family and for Bianca and also for me. Because like this has happened like time and time again and I've let it and I've allowed it because I'm just like sitting back like, yeah, fine, I'll apologize for exploiting the murder of a child if it will make you guys leave them the fuck alone. And then when I finally, like, oh God, it's just like, like my heart's pounding, dude. And this is the shit that I've been holding in and it's just like, it's not good for my mental health. And like, if this is going to affect my channel in a way that like, is negative, I guess. I mean, it's already, it's been negative for a while. I just, everything's like a digital tombstone, right? I feel like living with the idea of allowing all of these like horrible fucking lies by Bruh, why is she retweeting all this shit? She's like full on cult. Bruh. Horrible fucking people, like, the level of selfishness and what? No. How is it taking out of context? What? What? Taking things out of context?
That literally makes no sense. What? Out of context. That's confusing. Egocentricity. How did they manipulate so many people into seeing so many situations that weren't real? Like specifically that one. I think that one was like a huge breaking point for me mentally because like I couldn't understand how so many people looked at that situation and said, yeah, do you remember when you exploit like, dude, that shit hits me so deep. Like I can feel this like all the way down my throat and into my stomach right now. Every time I see a comment that says, remember when you exploited Bianca Devins? Like what the fuck, dude? Cause I'm a manipulative sociopathic monster. And I'm not allowed to be angry about that. I'm not allowed to talk about that. Fuck that, dude. This is my fucking life. And how are you supposed to respond to that? Like, that's what trips me up is like, you responded the wrong way. What would have been the right way to respond to that situation? First of all, it didn't fucking happen. So sorry for exploiting a murdered teenager. I can't say that because it's not real. And then when you try to give context to the shit you're being accused of, dude, that was so Angelica fucking Oles, you know what? After I put out that video and people saw it for what it was, cause like the response to that, the apology video was pretty overwhelming that people were like, this was fucked up. Like this did not make any sense. How did you guys twist it into that? And that was the overwhelming response. And even the drama channels who spearheaded the campaign, probably in realizing that, that what they did was actually pretty fucked up because they saw how broken I was. Like, look at my fucking face in that video, dude. Look how broken I am in that video. And they realized, okay, maybe we took this one a little too far, guys. Even they were like, proud of her, proud of her for doing this. Where's your apology, Spill Sesh? Ashley Kyle? I don't even know the fu your fucking names. I literally had to text in my friend and I was like, hey, can you get me like a short list of people who talked about this? Like the only ones I really remember is Angelica because she started it. And then after I put out that fucking thing, it was like, ruin my birthday, ruin my Valentine's day, ruin Peyton's birthday. Like you guys literally took away an amazing month for me. Then you, you picked a fight about the tags because I tagged you, you narcissistic bitch. It's about the algorithm. It's not fucking about, actually it is about you. Put out this apology for something I shouldn't have a fucking apologized for. You should have, and we're still waiting. So is Kim Devins. So is Olivia Devins. Everyone's waiting for your apology, Angelica. And camp, tea spill, spill sesh. I don't know, you all have the same fuck. Oh, she did mention tea spill, but I feel like that was a mistake. I feel like, I mean, all the names like concretely are on screen. I think she was just trying to like name off uh, channels and she mentioned tea spill because they all sound I mean they all have tea and spill in their name a lot of them so I think that one was a mistake fucking name you all owe Kim Devins Olivia Devins an apology oh god I'm glad I'm finally saying this shit because it's a lot of internalized anger because I have not like fully processed or defended myself and like I always said I wasn't going to defend myself because I always believed that the truth would come to the surface and that I wouldn't have to say it and I've waited for a really long time for people to just fucking see the truth of it because anybody can look at that and see exactly what it is which is a bunch of tabloids creating false stories for fucking money at the expense of a woman that is what is fucking happening in these situations. And I'm done just like staying silent. I don't wanna spend my whole life like this. Because of this shit, because of the false reputation that's out there about me, that's why I fucking trend on Twitter for being an a What? Taken out of context. What? Wait, what? Hmm? What? I'm so confused. Ableist against neurodivergent people, even though I'm neurodivergent. The True. irony is literally fucking like palpable.
That's what I'm talking about when I'm saying cancel culture. Oh God, like people just put words in my mouth all the time. I tweeted something like, what 2007 did to Britney Spears is what we call cancel culture today. It's attacking somebody relentlessly with tabloids and lies, mostly towards women and ruining their fucking life and they can't do anything about it. And I wasn't even fucking referencing myself. I was talking about all the other shit that was going on with women in the media right now. I didn't even say anything about myself. Like that's your your own fucking projection of your fucking, like, you said that. I said what happened to Britney Spears was 2007's version of cancel culture. Where in that tweet did I say, I'm just like Britney Spears and my experience is just like Britney Spears. You guys said that. True. Because you must fucking feel that. I know right now that it's a lot of anger coming out. And that is why I feel so free. Because I've been suppressing so much anger because I told myself that I was a bad person for having anger. Wait, I don't get the point of this conference. Wait, I literally just owned her. And then she's like, I don't get the point. What? Al. Because anytime I showed any type of emotion online, fucking hell rained down on me. Look how defensive she is. Look how aggressive she is. Yeah, that is how I am. When I am feeling very attacked and in a corner and being slandered and gaslit, Yes, I'm very defensive and I'm very intense. <sighs> that aside, that aspect of it aside, how would anybody deal with this situation? That was so fucked up and manipulative and toxic and mentally abusive. <sighs> and it feels good to finally just say that. And I feel like I did kind of say all this in that fucking podcast that I cannot go back and watch that podcast. <sighs> oh God, there are a lot of things that people do need to be held accountable for. And there's still a lot of things that I need to be held accountable for too. I've been on the internet a long time. I think about the type of content that I put out and how that may have affected people and the jokes that I've made in the past, how that may have impacted people. And I don't even mean just the people who the jokes were about. The reason I'm not talking about that right now is because I'd rather talk about it like separately and not kind of like tack it at the end of something else. I know that I was impacted by a lot of things growing up in the media that made me perpetuate the same type of humor. I don't want people to, to be okay with the message that you can slander somebody and mentally abuse them. Like this, that is what this is. This is narcissistic abuse. This is gaslighting. This is manipulation. This is like some real victim blaming, like projection ass shit that's been happening to me for a long time. It's like, oh, hi baby. Come here. Hi. Hi buddy. Will you cover yourself in Twitter versus Gabby Hanna? No, if I make a video, no. I don't cover myself in my videos. Unless it sparks like a really big conversation among a lot of people. There's very rare times I do it. I don't like to insert myself into that. Did you miss me today? You didn't get to hang out today really, huh? Because people are gonna oh. like... Oh, you are so sweet. And ill intent if I do that. Oh, God. You like I'm just so making sweet. tweets for my video or so something much. like that. People will start saying that. Kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Alright. That's the video. Interesting. I don't know if all of them were using it for clout. The argument is kind of sound. Uh, but we can't, like, peer into the, uh, you know, the minds of all these T-YouTubers. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's fair to just say Angelica Oles was doing it for clout. When, you know, Bianca... 
Bianca's name and like if Bianca's name and uh and picture aren't in like the title and thumbnail, I can't really like that's what gets clicks, right? Is the title and the thumbnail. And if they're not in the title or the thumbnail, or even the tags, I guess if you want to argue that, although I wouldn't personally, uh I don't think you can say that. But yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna end the stream. Thank you guys for watching. Might be live later with Augie or Nick. I'm gonna get off, take a bit of a break. Uh, but I might be on live later with them. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for any donos that I got. I don't know if I did get any donos this one. Uh, no, I didn't. But I appreciate you guys. And uh, I'll talk with you later.